kept trying my foot and I'm like, how the fuck does I manage that? The number of times I've spent, I have spent, sent my controller flying. No rest for the wicked. I'm like, what was I doing here? There was... Oh, I'm doing things for hands. We got... We got the necklace back. I implicated someone. I don't know if it was right or not. Um, What else did they want me to do? Oh! Musk of Infinite Allure. That's it. Next stage. Um, speaking to the charlatan. Mm. I love that to get a necklace to Carolina. I knocked her out. <laughs> I knocked her out. And she was none the wiser. She didn't care. That bodes well for us. Right, talk to the local gossip. Oh, I'd run back here because I needed to sleep. Did I close my door? I must have closed my door. Oh, it was noises. That's what it was. Local gossip. Charlton. That's... what? Who's making the... the noises then? Is it you? I back down after getting worn the first sound you heard was the weird dog. <laughs> yeah. Um I'm guessing it ties in with the, the quest that's going on just now. Cause we've we we oh we took out the bones from a grave. In here. Gossip. God be with you, good wife. Has, uh, has something happened here? Heavens no. It's quiet here. <laughs> like are and what about that empty grave? What empty grave would that be now? The one beyond the village, alongside the road to Sassau. Just by the river, on the pine headland. How would you know it's empty? Unless it was dug up. Oh, it's dug up, all right. Freshly. And empty. I saw it with my own two eyes. Lord in heaven. What in the name of... Well, the charlatan, not in yeah. ground, anyway. Only unrepentant sinners are buried like that. Usually. I don't like to say. It's an old wound that's best Ooh. forgotten. Who's Can I persuade you? Well, once a long time ago, there was a young charcoal burner living here with his wife. 
There was always a lot of charcoal burners here, but this fellow worked alone. That's not an easy job for one man. Well, no one wanted to work with him, or what? Ah, oh, he was a hard-headed fellow who always wanted to take care of his family himself. Ambitious? Well, I can understand that. It's always better to work for yourself than break your back for someone else. His wife was expecting, though no one knew it yet. And he wasn't doing well at all. Soon enough, they had nothing to eat. And so he took to thieving. Oh, great. I hate everyone's in. Stealing is wrong, says Henry. Well, thieving is wrong. Aye, but when there's a child on the way and your wife hasn't the strength to get out of bed for the hunger, well, you ought to think differently. And did he get caught? Um, I don't well, I'm I'm just like eggs, I want to I want to get certain emails heads. through. But Waiting for his email since the end of last down. week. And in the end, they caught him. And I suppose he was harshly punished for it. Even then, he didn't let on why he was doing it. They whipped the skin off his back and banished him from Lelitchkov. So justice was done then. It wasn't enough for some folk. When the butcher found out he'd never get any compensation, he wanted them to chop <laughs> up the charcoal burner's hands. <laughs> If the bailiff had the even is wrong, him, let's look at what Henry did steal of late. Well, he got off lightly enough then. <laughs> and in the end, I put something somewhere. I didn't. I reverse stole. The butcher caught up. I gave him. someone something. No, no. I mean, I knocked her out to get it in the chest, God, but you know. But surely, his wife bled to death in childbirth, and the child died with her. I'm sorry to hear that. But at least he knew they were going <clears> to a better place. True, lad. As a gold cross, you can steal the monster. There was uh, no one there. You're a thieving bastard. He had no one who would care for his wife. They say on that day, he parted ways with God forever, and he turned his back on the village too. I reckon he never forgave himself. The reverse burglary, yes. Or us either. Mm. Hans asked me to place something in a chest, so ways. I went there, knocked her out because she was in the way. Don't and then that, put lad. the item I'll in the chest. Do I want to push this? I mean, I can be persuasive if you let me be persuasive. Come now, good wife. You can't leave the story unfinished. I said no. Will you let it lie? For someone who's supposed to be a gossip, you sure fucking ain't gossiping, are you? Did she just close the door on me? Are both in the same area? Yep. Why? Can I do something with this dog? If there is, I, I, it's not nothing spring in mind what I can do. Oh, you're not dead. Okay. I'll be back at the inn, won't I? Tragic fate of the charcoal burner. I know who was buried in that grave. A young charcoal burner. So begin the tragic tale of the young charcoal burner who became entangled with the devil himself. No, don't start. What devil? I'm trying to tell you. Ugh. 
He was from Nadechko. He was trying to eke out a living for himself and his wife, but he couldn't manage. When she fell pregnant, he took to stealing. Pride drove him from the straight and narrow path, soul. and soon he sold his soul <laughs> to the devil to fill his stomach. They caught him and punished him, but some of the people he'd robbed didn't think it was enough. Then when his wife died in childbirth, and the child too, he blamed everyone for it. Even God, apparently. But when the time came to pay his debt to hell, the devil had no use for his soul. And took his Dude's just making up a nice instead. tall tale, isn't he? The charcoal burner cursed God, who, who struck him down in righteous vengeance. But the dead man's soul never left his body. He came back. As a revenant, to vent his rage at God and men and take vengeance on the living. Jesus, did you listen to what I said at all? Oh, he did. Sorry, did you say he something? did. And then he oh, spun it. What do you want me to do with it? Well, the question is, what would the revenant do to get revenge on the villagers? I don't know. Well, apprentice. You tell me. Can I do all of them? Oh, the butcher. The gossip mentioned the butcher. It seems he was infuriated that the charcoal burner's punishment was too lenient. And the revenant spoiled their meat with his malign touch. How's that? Spoiled meat is a classic example of a revenant's power. Huh. I thought it was the work of bad butchers. That too, sometimes. So. I should switch the good meat for bad. Oh, great. Butchers. What about the butcher woman? What about her? Her conscience was troubled on account of her man and she couldn't sleep. But I helped her so she's found some peace. So, no problem then. Oh! I'm supposed to scare the wits out of her and start all over again. Oh, no! All right, if you can find some other solution, you don't have to switch the meat. But I would it's been ages helping her! Make sure it's the same kind of meat. Not even a revenant will turn a cow into a chicken. What about his wife and child? No doubt he'd want to avenge their death. Well, how did they die? In childbirth. And when his love turned to rage, the water turned to blood. Nothing too original, but it's tried and tested. If you do it at the baths, everyone will hear of it. How am I supposed to do that? It might be a bit suspicious if I'm seen walking around with a pail of blood. No problem. There's a certain oh. potion that will do the trick easily. This is all hands' fault. He cursed God. <clears throat> That's very serious. Hmm. What is it that most brings God to mind? Uh, they don't have a church there. But everyone will have a rosary. I can't think of anything else. That's it. If folks start losing their rosaries, they'll have sleepless nights over it. You want me to steal rosaries? But that's... Or just exchange them. For what? Um, for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Great. He was it's an exchange. People, right? Brilliant. I could call it that now. Exchange. No, we're not. No, no game. It's not steal rosaries. It's exchange rosaries for nothing. Have you no shame? Maybe just a few eggs from hen coops, like the gossip mentioned. Hmm. Well, that wouldn't be too serious a sin. Will they put it down to the revenant though? They would, if I put some charcoal there instead. And oh, great. He turned into ash. So, switch eggs for charcoal, switch the meat, uh, colour the water in the baths, and sti um, switch the rosaries. That ought to do it. I hope so. Of course, if you come up with anything else, don't let me hold you back. Talking to people might give you ideas. Traders, the bailiff. But what if someone sees me in the act? They mustn't. Otherwise, it'll end up like Sasau all over again. Don't draw attention to yourself, or they'll put two and two together. Sure. I'll keep my head down. And how will I know if I've succeeded? I doubt it will be announced on the market square. I'll be the first to know. They'll come running to me for a remedy, like hens at feeding time. Off you go and raise hell.
If it remains, though? But whatever he did, don't you think he deserves some peace? Dear Henry, after all the poor wretch went through, I'd say he's beyond any peace. Well, he certainly won't have any as long as I'm carrying his bones around with me. Ah, but you know who those remains could help. Help? Who? How? Me, of course. And I'd pay you a nice price for a revenant's bones. But there is no revenant. Not yet. <laughs> what do you say? Was I bury them? Mm, maybe I should bury him somewhere else. What are you saying? That would be such a waste. Anyway, if someone saw you, the whole game would be out. Hmm. Well, supposing I do it later, when the fuss has died down. All right, if you must. But I don't know what you hope to get out of it. At least the poor wretch will have peace at last. Maybe. As long as you bury him in hallowed ground. Otherwise, you're wasting your time. Like in Ratoy, maybe? Well, that's probably the nearest. That gossip-mongering crone would know. True, I could ask her. If you must. But for heaven's sake, don't... Oh, there's a lot going on here. Okay. Okay. Game was saved. Right, we've got two. Jeez, please. Butcher's meat. Rotten meat. I need to get some then, don't I? Who's that? Uh, color water in the baths. There's a potion to color the water. Did I get a potion? Um, recipe for that? Oh. Partner, I was checking in. Where are the here's D got A, B, C, and an E? D is probably the remains. I have an absolute brain fart. I need to go back to here to make any kind of potion, don't I? Alchemy bench. Or is there anyone near here? So I need to try and find some charcoal. Don't think I have any. Is this normal camps? Oh no, there's. Oh. I don't know if I can use her bench. She might not even have one after. We're better off somewhere I can go. Wait, I'm sure they've got. Oh, I have no idea where I would replace the bloody eggs about. Who's in there? I just get myself turned around. Where is. Yep, I went out the wrong side. There's another? I've got six charcoal. But it doesn't mention it. Coops and replace them with charcoal. Oh, 
was three. Oh my word, still rosaries as well. Fucking hell. There's a lot to do here. Right, where's the, the gossip about first? The gossip over that way? That what I mean? <laughs> like I don't want to get seen but I can see shit now. <laughs> save how may i help you good night good wife yes lad what can i do for you you know i can't stop thinking about what happened to that poor wretch have you no consideration for a poor old woman i told you i don't want to talk about it It might relieve you to talk to someone. Relieve me from what? Well, guilt. Guilt? Why should I feel guilty? Well, clearly something weighs heavy on your soul, just like the other villagers. The older ones. And I'd say it's connected to that empty grave. Well, that wretch returns as a revenant, and no one does anything. It's not just fear, but more like everyone is expecting some punishment that was bound to come one day. Oh, you might be right. Maybe it would give me some peace in my old age to finally tell the whole story. Several people from the village went to have it out with Lev, but he grabbed an axe and drove them off. He swore if anyone came near him, he'd burn their house okay. down. Then he buried his wife and child in the meadows beyond Ledetchko. I saw him carving three statues there. Lev, you say his name was? Hmm. What kind of statues? There's three roughly carved beams there, each with a human face, except the smallest, which has no face at all. Makes sense. For the stillborn child, I suppose. <laughs> what happened then? Nothing. He went back to his work, but never spoke to the villagers again. He'd even go all the way to Rate for food, rather than talk to anyone here. So he died alone in the end? Actually... It was the villagers. It was us that killed him. Really? What? Just on account of his stealing? No, no. Not long after, fires started springing up in the village. All right, and okay. When the first house burned down, the folk were very angry. And of course, suspicion fell on Lev. Everyone was dead <clears> certain <throat> it was him. They all remembered his words. Do you know how arsonists are punished, lad? No, I don't. By burning on the pyre. But no one wanted to waste time with the law. We just went to his house at night, smashed in the door and windows, 
and threw lighting torches inside. And that was the end of him. But the fires... the fires didn't stop. So he was innocent? He was. Well, I won't condemn you for it. It's for God to judge, but... May he forgive you for it. Thanks, lad. I pray every day for forgiveness, and it's a weight off my shoulders to tell someone. Okay. Take care. So we've replaced one chicken coop. Need some more chickens? No, that's pigs. So if I see them running about, they'll likely be there. I was going out further and further out. In the darkness. I'm not seeing or hearing any the sheep. I'll meet my replacing anyway. It must be inside. Lamb. Switch it off. Just mutton now. Hang on, this is venison from Roe Deer. No wonder it's under lock and key. Oh, can I go with one or the other? the mutton. It's roe deer venison for sure. Someone's been poaching. Okay. It works for me.
Wanting spot? That'll do. I'm going to do that for that one. It's 50. Spoiled bits. Fuck no. Wait, where? was the chicken coop right there. I'm assuming it's not the same one. Hmm, anything small that will look like that? Potentially one of these? Oh, Bailiff, hi. Good God, you look terrible. Did someone attack you? <laughs> Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. Well, there's nothing extra then. God be with you. Hmm. chickens What? Oh fuck off. Finger. All right. Surrender. You win. I surrender. This is dick. You're nothing but a thief. I saw you. Can I? This no, hold on, hold on, cheap. hold on. You'll learn crime doesn't pay. Look, I'll tell you the truth, but you mustn't. Well, I thought. Gonna go away. I know. Ah, oh, you asshole. The thing with that one is you can't crouch and look at that one at the same time. Which sucks. Egg inspection, yes. The all important egg inspection. I need to go back there. Wait, there's no bastards around. This is the last one that I needed. Hey, who's there? Fucking hell. Out. Damn. What's the matter with you? Well, I'm trying to get his attention though. Get 
Pokemon. <laughs> really? Deck. He is not for moving, is he? Right, one thing done. Um, so I need to place the meat. Oh, ask a charlatan for, oh fuck, for a recipe? Ah, potion. What's the recipe for that potion you were talking about? You mean for colouring the water? Ah, well... Well? Pay close attention now. I'm all ears. How love turned to bloodshed. Once there was a knight who, though upright and noble-looking, had a prickly, unapproachable appearance. He fell in love with a fragile young maid, whom he saw with her sisters in a field, all wearing bright red wimples. But he was afraid his prickly... I don't believe this is a recipe. So he asked the advice of... <laughs> Earth is. A pierced <laughs> it's and the learned crusader, who carried the name of the patron saint of his order with pride. The pious knight told him he would arrange a rendezvous with the maid. All three would drink wine together by the river, and he would help his friend to get acquainted with her. This they did, but the maid fell in love instead with the pious knight. The stern knight was enraged and challenged his rival to a duel. The two fought long and fiercely, but they were equally matched. And so, in the end, they both fell mortally wounded. Anguished at the tragedy her beauty had caused, the young maid took a dagger from one of the knights and plunged it into her own heart. Their bodies lay together on the ground, and the blood flowed from them into the river, turning the waters crimson. I thought you were going to tell me the recipe, not some fable. It is the recipe. I mean, the recipe is concealed in the story. What on earth for? So I don't forget it. All right. So what does it mean? I can't remember. Great. So if you don't know... Who does? You'll figure it out, my loyal apprentice. Three plants. I remember there are three plants in the story, but that's about all. But I know it was a simple recipe. It, it should be enough to grind the ingredients and brew them together for one turn. So all you have to do is work out what the ingredients are from the story. Sure. Why make things simple if you can complicate them? <laughs> right, hold on. Hold on. It won't bear us be. About that recipe. Uh, yes, uh, you want to buy it? Uh, 
Oh, is that the other one? What's the recipe for that potion you were talking about? Pay close attention. It's three plants. I'm all ears. How love turned to bloodshed. Once there was a knight who, though upright and noble looking, had a prickly, unapproachable appearance. He fell in love with a fragile young maid whom he saw with her sisters in a field, all wearing bright red wimples. But he was afraid his prickly exterior would frighten her. So he asked the advice of another knight, a pious and learned crusader, who carried the name of the patron saint of his order with pride. The pious knight told him he would arrange a rendezvous with the maid. All three would drink wine together by the river, and he would help his friend to get acquainted with her. This they did, but the maid fell in love instead, anguished at the their body. Goodbye. Let me see. Is it going to be one of each? I'll take two. Oh, I want. All the plants are there. The images give that a precarious appearance. Poppies are sisters in red, and the one after. Some kind of scene. Oh, stingy. Not the thistle. Didn't say stinging, no, it said prickly. Where's the nearest alchemy bench? You know what? Um, there's one up north. Actually, I'll take two of each. Oh, that's high. Uh, there is the, the old lady in the forest. I just don't know if I can use it. Should I take that? Poppies. I'll take two St. John's. More one of these. How many items do we have? Fuck done. <laughs> but I don't know if I can use it. Oh, 
Oh, I should probably go and get the um roe deer first. Do we do we need to get both or do we need to just, just need to get one of them? Because one is definitely easier to get than the other. Because the other is is round about the buildings and such, the other ones about in the woods. Oh jeez, come on, come on. Can I get over? Let's go! Buy some meat instead of killing me for it. Well, it's like 50 of it! I can I can try my my hunting skills. Oh no, that's not good. Where am I? Oh great. There we go. Come on! Yeah. Go on! Henry's broke. Yes, we'll say that. We'll say Henry's broke. He's he's eighty thousand broke. Oh, crap. No. To me. I know. He doesn't have a single grocery in his name. Just need 50. There you go, you can you can have some kidneys? Look what I've got for you. You'll love it. So we need to wait for it to spoil. Uh, well, sunless. <laughs> Steel rosaries. Oh, great. Place the lamb. Purchase charcoal burner's remains, that's fine. Oh, our new ratai? No, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll take it to ratai. The rosaries is going to be a bitch. Uh, remake go back, potentially, it's just a uh, kind of parallel, so switch meat at the butchers. Uh, to find all the meat the butcher has, so I can replace it with rotten stuff. More to find nothing original, Charlton says. Some potion. The recipe turned on. I'm glad it be too difficult. Still rosary beads. Yep. Uh, I can either try. Alchemy bench here. Or I can go to Ratai. I may go to Ratai. Really hope that they don't try and stop me for anything. Because I could use the, the bench as well, maybe? I love that I'm doing this because I don't just outright buy the recipe that I need and then make it. I've decided to go <laughs> to go the really awkward route.
two things. Let me see what's going on here. Okay. Is it the back of his shop? Is it? Oh, you bastard. You fucking bastard. Can I use your shit? Good day. There is no shit. Fuck. Should go and see the old woman. No, here we go. Oh, I thought we had to go all the way there. Right, okay. Um, grinding everything, wasn't it? Oh shit! No, nope, wrong thing. Okay, so don't put them all there. Have one of those. I'm gonna move one to the horse. So it's not there. Move one of those to the horse. So it's not there. Probably got this completely wrong. Who the fuck to alchemy again? <laughs> um, it won't. It won't be in here. No. Oh, we have a basis. Shit. Ah, uh, they went for a drink, didn't they? I guess it's the spiritus. What's that? Oh no, wine. Venom. said prickly but that's I wouldn't I don't know if you would call its appearance prickly fuck it like that like that I can try the net all the poppy and St John's work so I need to what grind them all no how do we usually start these So pour in the venom. First step is also pour the potion base into the cauldron. Grind them, add them in, because it's a boiling turn for one. It didn't say, oh my god, did it say which way? We were pushing the cinema, so we were poured direct from the cauldron and file or passed through a distiller. File?
Wayne. I can I can put them all at the same time, can't I? I hope. May have the wrong one there though. Try it. It's got a new recipe. Rude. Fake blood. Okay. Got it right then, I guess. Happy with that? got that to do. I'll go and rest up. Oh fuck, I need to get the mutton as well, don't I? Right, does anyone have that for selling? Bread! Bread! Butchers, butchers, butchers. Where are you? Over here? Look my way, Kunesh. Let's have a word about the price. Hmm. Satisfied? I'd almost shake on that. Number 15. Uh, who else has a butcher? What's your sign again? That one. Probably was one on the dash code, wasn't it? I don't know if I can buy it from them just to give it to them though. Go there then. <laughs> go rush it. It's going. We're really having a fucking journey right now, but okay. Actually, maybe Sassel might be a bit closer. That would have been a long way.
<clears throat> Hans better appreciate this. Right, where's this bridge to pirate? Right there. I see your butcher icon. You? You. Good day to you. No, you're not. You're not a fucking butcher at all. You're just a vendor of butchers over here then. You're like the storefront. A really tiny storefront. I always remember where I used to live. One of the places I lived before. There was a butcher's down the bottom of the street. And this is when I was going to like high school at that point. I was like, great, just what we'd see in the morning out. The nice fresh carcass being brought out of a van taken into the the shop. Oh, it's more like it. Are you a shop guard? Where's where? Right, there you are. God save. Top trades. Hey, care. <sighs> Ten. Fuck it. Let's talk about the prop. Well, we can try. Satisfied? Well, now. All right, sir. <laughs> the number five. Guess we'll be going there. I don't find taking it from well. Okay, you say butcher, but I don't know if you are or not. Yeah. Which way do I need to be? This way? Over here? Yeah. Across the bridge? Is this the butchers though? I don't know if I've been in here. I don't even know if I've spoken to this person. Well, it's locked there. I'm going this way? Butcher, are you fucking kidding me? Butcher without a butcher. Oh, someone opened the door though. Opened the door. I never opened the door. Open the door. Fuck. Do you have a store of meat somewhere?
please don't see in the chest. Just walked away while I was trying to trade with you. Frank, come here. Shit. Huh? No. Talk. Trades. Like you can bloody wait with that bit of meat. You won't convince me with that. All right, so. Here we go. We have what we need, so. Just need to wait for it to go off. Um, when we go back to Ratai. We will... <laughs> That's ridiculous. So we've got that for colouring it. We need to wait for the meat to go off. Don't know what else I would be able to do. Because they said speak to the bailiff and some of the traders, and the bailiff didn't have anything. Oh, you fucking dick. Of course. Fuck it, what's the point? Ah, oh, fuck you, game. Second. My second crash. It's been out for so long, it doesn't need absolutely no point in sending anything. Great, nowhere am I going to be. <laughs> Not impressed. Not impressed, game. <clears throat> oh, this is so annoying. Where would I have been? I you know what it's gonna be? It's gonna be before I made my way to fucking Ratai to make the potion. Betty, that's it. She's gonna force me. Sleep. But I don't want to. Crashes wouldn't be as much of a bother if the game had more policy of things. So we're here. <sighs> Great. Fucking great. Is this where I think it is? Yep. Yeah. It's before you even got the, the deer.
five and fifty of those. Get myself to Sasso. Please don't crash this thing. It's even worse when I think they hadn't actually done much. But it's so time consuming going between the areas. Where's Butcher? Where's Butcher? Come on. Get my dudes. Not on board with this shit right now. Making me do it again. Right, so we must have went outside. Because that was not open. Talk to me, Butcher. Come on. My God, what happened to you? You know what? You can have it. Zip that. Check it. Go zeal. Make the potion again. Oh, wait, I'm in the right place. I don't know. I think I am. No, nope, talk, talk to me, talk to me, trader, trader, talk, talk. Where are you going? What are you doing? Greetings. God be with you. Five more. Don't you dare. When I do this game, don't you fucking dare. It's a big rush. Because it crashed on me. When I was doing this already. <laughs> so going and getting the, the deer meat and getting the mutton and then making the potion, I'm doing over again because it crashed on me. Why are you doing, Mariko? I mean, to be fair, it's only, it's only been my second crash in 100 nearly 200 hours. And both of them, if I remember the first one, uh, kick in when I'm trying to yeah. do fast travel. 
I don't know if I have what I need on me. It's not that one. Yeah, you piss away. No, no, no. Still waiting to hear something back before we can get things arranged. Oh, it'll be good to get a new place. I just, honestly, I just want it over and done with because it's getting closer to Christmas so I can't exactly order things if there's, um, depending on where things are coming from. It's presents for people because I don't know where I'm going to be because I need to give what, three weeks notice for the, this place. Um, but it might be a, something as as quickly as like you know get an email saying go up get the keys next game day that's it and then it's all I'll go with that point <laughs> I just want to get in already it's not good <clears throat> um, ho hopefully by before Christmas I'll be in. I mean, it's not that long far away. Okay, we're safe there. We do this. I can go and make the potion I'm after. So, start alchemy. Uh, inventory, that's that, that, and that. Da, 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 da. Oh, the one with those caravans, house vans, whatever. Oh, but you can live in a new place for you if you like. Ah. Yeah, I think you, well, you, you still have to plan things out because depending on where you are. Um. And what facilities you needed, you'd probably need an actual like caravan park or a place that dealt with people coming in with their own caravans. But no, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be too bad. I don't know how that works for the likes of um having a, a permanent residence. <clears throat> Okay, I confirm those. Going with wine. That's my base. That's a lot of reds. We were grinding these, weren't we? Mortar. Can all happen at once. Poppy too. But no. Oh, Kumi's great. <laughs> I I actually don't mind it. Um, so I need this.
no crash, no crashes then. Fake blood, perfect. So the things I still need to do is, ah oh crap, I still need to get the meat from her, don't I? I don't know if she'll be here or not. Good health to you. Trades. Mutton. Why am I making fake blows? I'm at one of the DLC quests. Um, so I had to do it again as the, the game went. Bye bye on me. Just annoying. So I've got. Okay, so. Place the boots with fresh meat and rotten meat. I have. The lamb and roe deer. Uh, we're going to bury the remains in Ratai. And eat steel rosaries and also colour the water in the baths. Steel rosaries, I'll get to that when I get back. No chance this game. I'm letting you get away, get away with crashing again. So I'm just gonna... I'll, I'll sleep until the middle of the night though. Uh, that do? Cause... I can probably bury the bones as long as someone's hanging around. I usually talk my way out of things in this game, so that's nice. It's raining. That's the wrong thing. Oh, just fucking shush. <laughs> Walk it around, that's fine. Just ignore me, just ignore me running around. I am doing nothing. No need for you to be interested in anything I'm doing. Because I'm not doing anything. Not me running into the churchyard. Oh no! Something good. Right. I thought it was actually gonna, you know, digging. Get back to the the data screen then. Wait for the meat to go off. I, don't, I couldn't see anything else because most of the stuff was mutton, the rest was the, the roe deer. Okay, so where are the baths in here? Bind me.
What as simple as that? Actually, that's the end, isn't it? So we borrowed him. Put in the blood. I'm waiting for the meat to go off. So it just needs to get to like 50%. for stealing the rose race this is not gonna go well It wasn't fucking successful though, was it? Did it save from who? Um, supposed to seal the rosary beads. I'm just trying to replace them with nothing. Okay. I don't like that there's no news whatsoever on the second part of this game. Too many people in there for my liking. You're on your own. That's all I picked. Still from you again. I'm assuming that's Rosary. Oh my god, it probably wasn't. Yep. I know there's another person there. Look at the chance it right now. Fuck. 
fucking one in there. It's a Charlotte, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, Lighthawk, how you doing? Okay, got three. I'm I'm gonna save it right now. <clears throat> it was like my the best streak I've had of stealing shit from people. I might have to wait until next like, night though. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> Thank God for Twitch. <laughs> Which is great, is is just you know, I've got to get to know some people that I never would have otherwise. And and another big factor for me, work on my backlog. <laughs> no, it maybe doesn't seem like it's worked, and that I still got a huge amount, but that's because I keep adding to it, but it has made, made progress on uh Oh, ship trespassing. Sorry. I'm trying to eat. Just need to wait for a little more. Nice. Does it count as rotten if it's past that then? Okay, what is this fucking dog doing? To wait until night time to get restaurants. So steal rosaries. I've got two more to steal. I need to wait for the meat to go off. <laughs> Ambulances sound differently back then. Nothing else is there. Oh, come on. Two. I might just be able to wait for the whole thing. Wait until night time. I need some food. I completely forgot. We'll go and search for that as well. God, the last hour always takes so long to count down. Okay, let's go back there. Let's waste some time. Oh, there's a Charlotte. Poor or rich. 
I should be able to take some food now. Just running around with the armor on. Cool. Hmm. Okay. Which door are we in? Of time and everything. Seeing what I'm then going to be found out or not. So, with two rosaries to steal and to change the meat. get them from here. Oh, is it still, um, mutton? Yes. not successful. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's good, like, hook. Go try again. Student manager for the studio and person's hyping is given to her since 2018. Uh, yeah. See if there's another one in the uh, the inn. If I sleep for an hour, maybe. We're not losing this progress. <clears throat> I've already had it crash today.
no, I follow I follow them on um, Twitter as well, and I see things coming up, and it's like you know facts about the game and stuff like that. It's like, how long have you been doing this for? How many times have you then put up the same fact? <laughs> I don't know if you'll have it. Depends if you're the same villager or not. Shit. Oh fuck. Uh. Oh fuck. Got knocked. Oh. Balls. Where am I? Run, run away. Oh shit. I mean, I can talk them about this, can't I? I think. Maybe. Go in the dark. I try not to get seen by any of the guards either. But they might be there because fuck the right side, aren't they? Just not know. I've had more failures with knocking people out usually, in that it wakes other people up around them. So where that woman was, there were three other people in the same room. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna just go here just now. I'm gonna wait. I don't know, does does the bounty go away over time? Now if they were on their own I would knock them out. But I've also had guards um run in from outside if they've been passing and I've tried to knock them out. So there's that too. So really anything can happen. <sighs> oh man, I thought I thought I'd be able to like wait this out. Let's see. Just wait 19 hours outside the bathhouse.
Fuck, I'm gonna have to... I don't know. Shit. Wait, what's my... <gasps> Did I knock out all the meat? Was there anything else? Oh no. I found the um uh, I have to find all the meat the butcher has. Shit. That wasn't at all. And how do you know if she wasn't just having this weird, like, vision when she awoke? I'm just saying, she did be sleep at all And what she was seeing as well. You were seen thieving. Well, you won't forget this in a hurry. You're making this... Well... Don't move a finger! Dude must have been walking by over there and spotted me. Right, okay, well at least that one's sorted. Shit, so we must have... there must be more? I've still got the rosaries, right? Uh, 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 uh. Are you requesting it? I don't know. Nice, we still got them. No luck at Rabbit paws of all colors. What else am I after here then? It's not a steal, I need to examine. I thought I'd found what I could. Because I wasn't letting me have a look at these before. Oh, great. Chickens. That's Four chickens. No problem. Four frickin' chickens. <sighs> All right, then. Four chickens. I'd seen the other me outside, but I hadn't seen that. Uh, this one? Uh, this is Ledechko. I'm in. Can I... Fuck it, can I just buy four of them here and let them rot and replace them? Get there soon. Hiding your chickens away from me. So, we the road deer that was inside, which was just lucky because the door was open. When I had looked around, I'd looked around at the other bits of meat that were in the same area as the chickens, and I didn't see the chickens themselves.
It's right there. Oh, what state is this at? Damn it, 62. <laughs> I just need to get to like 50, I think. Works. Fifty-four? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Come on, dude, it's maybe seven in the morning. Too fresh. Dreams meat is too fresh. It's forty fucking one. Do you need absolutely zero? Oh, you're never a happy game, are you? Is that him around, can I? Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. Oh. I guess I'm fucking waiting for an hour, however many hours. Oh, let's get till nine at night. Your hands better appreciate this. There we go. Nice. All done. Don't eat her. Don't eat her. Ask for anything else, Buster. Yes, you standing there. That you've just woken up? Are your eyes open? No. I 
can't talk to him. He's sleepwalking. He could be sleepwalking. The charlatan who was missing for a few days. Oh, what have you done, game? I can't interact with him. What did he kick him in his charlatan mode? <laughs> <laughs> Does he have another name uh, other than Charlatan? <laughs> Please have moved. You do not want to talk to me, dude. Oh, okay. Gonna be at his, his uh, place of work, I guess. Just outside. What do you want? Is the hunting going? So, how am I doing so far? Good work, Henry. The whole village is shaking in its boots. Soon, people won't step outside the door without saying three Hail Marys. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. I'm beginning to feel haunted myself. The baths are closed. No one will tell you why. Everyone is clearly frightened. No one in Ladechko would eat a single egg, even if they had any. Because all the hens are hexed. Mm -hmm. Well, at least they've got fuel for their fires. Half the village is without rosaries. Someone even wanted to buy one from me. And did you sell it? I don't trade in such banal goods. But I sold him a cat's paw. I didn't know a cat's paw was good for warding off revenue. five times the cost? Henry, all the goods I have are good for warding off revenants. Henry, Everyone how is silly are you being right now? All the butcher's meat went off after being touched by the hand of evil. What, does this look like the hand of evil to you? So, the job is done, eh? Uh, not quite. But you just said the whole village is shaking with fear. The whole village, but... For one individual. Well, surely that doesn't matter. That's what I thought too. Only this fellow is giving <sighs> everyone the benefit of his wit. Dude, what you want me to do? He needs shaking up before he undoes <sighs> your good Great. work. Great. He's not been scared yet. What more Punch can I do him. to frighten him? Well, when he's not hanging around here ruining my trade, he's in the tavern boasting that he'd happily sleep by that empty grave to prove there's no okay. evidence. Yeah, I bet he would. Exactly. He, he just needs a little persuasion. And once he's there, make it the most terrifying night of his life. Well, what are we waiting for then? It's best to be well prepared. You ought to find out something about him, so there's no surprises. Okay. The gossip woman. Again. Naturally. And Henry, before we get to that grave, you can still try and come up with more ways to frighten the villagers. The more terrified they are, the more groshen they'll be. In oh, I don't care about money. Uh, for us, that is. Good luck then. I just need that. 
Um, to you? I just need the potion. God save. Brave fellow. Good wife. <laughs> Good wife. You're still here, lad. I thought you'd have fled by now. Fled? Why on earth would I do that? Because there's a revenant on the prowl. The whole village is talking about it, and everyone is terrified. Ah, that. But I heard there's one brave lad who's not afraid. You mean Felix? Well, I don't know what his name is, but he's always arguing in the tavern that there's no revenant. That's him. The fool doesn't believe what's going on under his own nose. He hasn't the sense he was born with. He even said he'd spend the night at the graveside, just to prove there's no revenant. Aye. All talk and no action. Is he brave or just stupid? Surely he's afraid of something. Oh, I couldn't tell you. But if he's to be believed, he doesn't fear the devil himself. Okay. And do you believe him? Well, it's true he never seems bothered by anything. But then he's always with that other pair. What pair? Two mates of his. But he was alone in the tavern. Aye, they're not locals. But um. outside the village, wherever he goes, they go with him. Who are these two fellows? They're not bad lads, but they're no heroes, that's for sure. How's that? Them two have their fears, but then who doesn't? What are they afraid of? The first one wouldn't even go into the woods alone because he's afraid of wild animals. Wild animals. Yeah. Is that so? I wonder why. He got lost in the forest as a young lad, and he wasn't found till next morning. Shaking and pale as a ghost he was when they found him. Poor lad. He must have been scared out of his wits. That he was. What about the other one? He's afraid of fire. Why? His own father burned him. God forgive him. As a young lad, he was playing with fire and nearly set fire to the house. So his pa taught him a lesson he wouldn't forget. Poor lad. That's a terrible way to teach a child. My words, exactly. Ah, oh, it's been an interesting chat. Thanks, good wife. I have a feeling we're going to be dicks to them. Okay, um, back to the charlatan. What? Okay, uh, fearless fellows. This brave fella, Felix his name is, if we can get him to spend the night at the grave, he won't be alone. Wherever he goes, he always has two mates tagging along. Hmm. Like he's afraid to be alone. Hmm. Could be. So, if we could get him there alone, it shouldn't be too hard to scare him. Well, maybe, maybe not. He claims he's not afraid of anything. That's easy to say. I'm not so sure. Only, we have to get rid of the other two. What do you know about them? One of them is afraid of wild animals. Won't even go into the woods on his own. I see. And the other one? Well, he's afraid of fire, but I doubt an ordinary campfire would do the trick. Well, we'll think of something. Anyway, you take care of the first one. How, though? Haven't you learned anything from me? Talk to a dog. Uh, of course. Why didn't I think of that? You wonder how long at the back. Any particular one, Master? Oh, the most frightening one, of course. And how am I supposed to recognize him? One looks the same as another. By his bark, naturally. Can't you hear him? He'd scare the wits out of anyone. That's a dog. Either that, or Satan in the guise of a beast. All right. And what do I do with him? Have a conversation with him and see if you can mimic his bark. Yeah, great idea. People will think I'm barking mad. Goodbye. Hmm. Wild animal calls. Nice. Uh, dog with a strange bark is... I want to see over this thing. Use. What? 
Come on then. Bark. <laughs> beast you are. All right, let's see. Ruff. Ruff. Again? Officially, the village of you. <laughs> yeah, you are. Oh, I don't know how to make that one, though. I found that mutt, although from the noises it made, you'd hardly guess it was a dog. So you've learned to bark? I <laughs> have, Master. So bark? I never thought I'd stoop so low. Boo! Boo! Perfect! But what if it's not enough? Ah, ye of little faith. Besides, can you think of any other way? If we want to have him there on his own, I could always knock the other two out. And what if he finds them unconscious? I can always haul them off somewhere he won't find them. Just make sure you don't botch it, Henry. It could oh, no. easily turn very sour. Oh, it's going to turn worry. sour. But what about the other fella? Ah, oh, yes, apprentice. You have the good fortune to witness a genius at work. Watch and learn. An oil lamp. Okay. An oil lamp. Precisely. Isn't it ingenious? A marvellous invention, I grant you. But what do you want to do with it? That's the clever part. I've hung a lamp like this over the revenant's grave. All you have to do is shoot it down. <laughs> okay. It'll fall okay. on the grave and burst into flames. Well, that could work. Only... Only what? Well, how can you be sure I'll manage to shoot it down? I believe in you, Henry. You're my apprentice, versed in the ways of our craft. Right. I almost forgot. Anyway, you can practice. The lamp is already hanging up. It just hasn't been lit yet. Aye. I'll give it a go. And then what? Then you just have to goad our Felix into putting his money where his mouth is. But what if he doesn't fall for it? Refusing would ruin his credibility. Go and see him. I'll bet you anything, if you present it right, he'll jump at it. All right. I'll give it a try. Good. Don't delay, though. Practice with the lamp first, if you like, or just go straight to him. I'll try to shoot it down. Can't go over that, can I? Uh, nope. Mm -hmm.
I'm gonna do is practice. A couple of shots. Just to see how bad it's gonna be. And I'll probably continue this. Yeah, maybe Wednesday. It's up here, isn't it? That's it? Oh shit. I'm assuming that's it. Oh great. What, can you please move it away? anything with this? No. Well, <laughs> that lamp, sure. You can't do anything there. Okay. Okay, just need to manage to do that. Uh, yeah, I need to head off now, so what I'm gonna do is yeah. save it. Break to town, save it. Yeah. And I say before, I think it'll be Wednesday before I get back to this. Can't punch my horse. <laughs> Run there and dead. Altar candles from France. I feel like when you, you get certain horses, the, the faster and that they are, the worse they are at control. And I've got, I don't know, maybe I can get better equipment for it. It's not better handling depending on which, what equipment you've bought. I think I've got the most expensive stuff, so I would imagine that would be the best. Alright, save the game. Henry, you're gonna have to wait till Wednesday so I can carry out this plan that you and the charlatan have, have cooked up in some way. I could do, I should've just already bought the bloody potion, shouldn't I? This, I mean, well, I, I don't even know if that would work. worked. Uh, but yeah, so this, I think, is gonna be Wednesday. Returning. Uh, later on tonight, though, will be more... Oh, wait, ride a mule instead. It's a little bit more carry weight. Mm. I kind of miss pebbles. If I'm honest. 
I came at the point in the game where I'm not really carrying a huge amount of stuff with me. And even when I'm looting, there's like a good chance I won't fill the space that's on the horse because um, it's not got valuable, uh, valuable items on the people. It was like over 200 or over 300 if it's worth that. I'll take it. If it's not, it's like, eh. It's just extra space getting taken up. Right, uh, I'm going to head off just now. As I say, this will be back, uh, I think, Wednesday and later today. A couple hours. I will be back to Star Ocean Second Story R. Where I'm also trying to push through some of the story. I might do a bit of crafting there. I, I think I'm over leveled, but can you ever really be over leveled in an RPG? You know, there's there's going to be a situation where you're just absolutely get your ass handed to you. Right, so thank you everyone for watching. It's always appreciated. I hope you're all doing well, and I might see some of you again soon. Thank you all, and have a great rest of your day.